Mayoral race in Clarksville was neck and neck last night. State Representative Joe Pitts edged out two term incumbent Kim McMillan by just 213 votes. News Channel 5's Alexandra Cohen is looking into whether this race could go to the courts. Yes, a recount is possible. If Mayor Kim McMillan chooses to pursue one, she would have to go before a judge and ask that the votes be counted again. Mayor Kim McMillan has never lost an election, according to her campaign manager. Right now, they are investigating their options. Today, she issued a statement saying in part, I want to sincerely thank my supporters for their encouragement to me, their work alongside me, their financial support of our campaign, and most of all, their faith in me. I am honored and humbled, and I'm so very grateful. Joe Pitts currently serves on the state legislature. He says he's not surprised it was a tight race, and he's ready for this next chapter in his political career. Gratified. I'm excited to lead. He believes his platform to help fix traffic problems in Clarksville resonated with voters. We have a lot of state roads in our community, so we've got to connect those mass transit bike lanes, sidewalks. So as Mayor McMillan figures out whether to pursue a recount or not, Pitt says he's looking forward to spending more time at home with his family. I'm 60 years old. I grew up in Clarksville out north on Peachers Mill Road. Uh, married, have five children, nine grandchildren, um, and just look forward to working and meeting all of the all of the citizens out there. Pitts will be sworn into office in January. Reporting in Clarksville, Alexandra Cohen, News Channel 5.